Hi guys, it's reaction time. It's actually track by track reaction time. I don't do this often. Um, when something special comes out, I like to do track by track. Um, as you might, if you follow the channel, you know that. Uh, but the new Striper album's out, so that's a definite. I think Striper was my first track by track reaction. I don't do it often, like I said, so um, I love it when it comes along. But the good thing about this is, well, today is, what is it today? It's September the 24th. The album's coming out October the 21st, so you'll be listening to this on October the 21st, because I won't release before, obviously. Because um, Michael Sweet, just an amazing person to me. Uh, he's, he is amazing. I talk to him on a regular basis. Um, and he, he always answers. He's one of those guys that always answers. So, I mean, you know, I'm just privileged to be able to even swap conversation with him. Um, and he sent me every single track um, ready for my track by track reaction. Of course, of the promise that I won't release before. So you'll be watching this on October the 21st when the album comes out, not before. Um, so I have skipped a song already. So I've done Transgressor. Um, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, and Rise of the Call when they came out. Um, and I will have done another song as well, <laughs> um, which is Same Old Story. I would have done that later on because they ain't released yet, but I know it's coming out. Oh my God, then just, I'm really confused now. But anyway, Transgressor is the first song. See No Evil, Hear No Evil is the second song on the album, Same Old Story, which is the next single. Um, which you would have heard me do already, <laughs> is the third song. The fourth song is Heart and Soul. And a massive thanks, by the way, to Michael Sweet for sending me this um, and trusting me with it because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that would, I don't know what I would get out of it, nothing, but I could just put this on YouTube now, you know, September the 24th, I could upload it all and I'd be all right idiot for doing that obviously but that's what people do so thanks for the trust that michael sweet puts in me um to do this so here we go track by track heart and soul from the final battle striper <laughs> guitar Gonna get there, stop there, not quite halfway through, but seemed the perfect place to stop it. So, everything I wanted, everything I wanted, that just unbelievable, um, so distinctive guitar sound from the beginning, just, 
I love Striper's guitar sound. There's no other band. And I've said this before that the, they have got such a distinctive guitar sound. It's one of the few bands that you could, as soon as that opening riff, you go, that's Striper. Well, that's at least Michael Sweet or, you know, I mean, it's, it's them. You can just hear that um, guitar sound that's like no other. It's brilliant. Um, I love the stomp of the first part of the half of the song. So the first part of the first half. <laughs> so the stomp in it is brilliant. And that is just, I mean, Perry Richardson's bass is just right up in this. As are the drums. I've noticed that. Although, you know, the drums and, well, every instrument in the, all those, especially the past four albums leading up to this album, um, the drums and the bass have been really prevalent, especially even The Devil Believes. You know, it's really like thumping. The, the kick drum is really prominent, but the bass guitar is really rumbling. And there's a brilliant stomp to this that's infused by, obviously, Perry Richardson and Robert Sweet. Just the rhythm section is just amazing. Um, I love that chorus that's just soaring out of that first verse. And the way that um, Robert is like on that kick drum, that's just brilliant. And it sort of soars along. I love that. This has got a real sort of, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to say this a lot during the track by track, but I'm going to compare and stuff like that. But parts of this really do is it's a great mixture of their old and new i think on this um probably you know it's almost the whole thing i was gonna it's not even separated old and new uh, you know it's not like the verse sounds like their old 80s stuff and the and the and the chorus is their new stuff it's almost they've got a perfect balance in here you know it just sounds brilliant and that's what I love about Striper as well. They are bringing that back, what the fans want, aren't they? But they're giving you their sort of new feel as well. They're more aggressive feel, if you like. But might be a little bit more aggressive than it used to be. But that chorus is just so soaring and so catchy. I love that. Then they changed it up again, didn't they? So I thought we was going to get that sort of same sort of medium pace stomp. Or well, slow to medium pace stomp, if you like, in that first verse. And I love the way they changed it up. They've, you know, in that second verse, don't stick to the rules, just change it up a little bit, give you something more to think about. But I love the way, when it came out of that second verse, the way it went into that chorus again, the same. I'm glad it stayed the same into that stomp with the, with the uh, kick drum. That's just amazing. And it sounded even better the second time around coming out of that faster verse. It's amazing so far. And it, Obviously, I haven't listened. I'm not listening to this in order. I'm going to do some in order like now, but thinking about the track listing, Transgressor, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, haven't heard the same old story yet, but it, uh, this is a perfect fourth sort of song, sort of slowing the pace down a little bit with some different um, paces in the song as well. It just sounds great. It, it's just brilliant. I mean, the, the, the band are on top form. Let's listen to the rest. Don't know where it's going to go now. We've just hit the second chorus, come out of that. What's going to happen now? Who knows? Here we go.
screams, man. I mean, Michael, just his screams. Are they as good as they ever were? Probably. Probably, because he's got that aggression as well, but hit some amazing heights there. That was... I mean, man, if you ever doubted his singing, it's got to be one of the best vocalists, you know, in, in staying, having still what he's got from all those years. It's just amazing. And he does it live as well. You know, so... It's not just about the studio. It's no effect or trickery there. He's just, you know, that's what he does. And I'm still amazed by it now. I, I really am. But um, I love the guitar solo on that. It's almost like there. it wasn't full electric. I mean, I'm not a guitar player. Um, but you, I was in a band and you sort of pick up things that guitarists do, you know, and that almost had an effect on it where it wasn't full metal um fuzz if you like there was sort of, sort of halfway there giving that really cool rock and roll vibe so it wasn't full metal but just a brilliant song so catchy um just that chorus it's just that was brilliant just so melodic what a fantastic song that was that was the fourth one that was heart and soul um next is near i'm looking forward to this one there's been a lot of talk about this and people looking forward to it even though there's been a lot of talk around it, I think. Um, obviously, there's been some reviews already, so people are looking forward to certain songs, but Nia, I believe, is one that's um, that's really been spoken about, so I'm really looking forward to the next one. That's track five. Guys, what do you think of Heart and Soul? What an amazing song that was. I'll see you soon. <laughs>